Hello and welcome to another episode of Beer Man's No Bull Beer Reviews. Um, today I have another beer from Masthead Brewing out of Cleveland, Ohio. Um, this beer is called Fruit Blood, which is pretty uh, pretty intimidating. Um, the description says double smoothie IPA with pomegranate, mango, and lactose. Um, and these guys are using the name smoothie because a lot of other places use milkshake. Um, but I guess same thing, I mean, IPA with fruit and lactose is milkshake IPA, whatever. It says uh, 8.5 ABV, so to me these things are really hit or miss. So, and I haven't had one of these styles from masthead before so i have no idea what to uh what to expect so crack it open and see what we got whoa so i don't know what pomegranate i guess i'm trying to think what pomegranate looks like i just I don't know. By this and all of this, I expected this to be like red colored, but it's you know, it actually still looks like just like a really hazy IPA. Um, so it pours a, uh, a really hazy, darker golden color, basically orange, with um, a very very small uh, white head. <clears throat> So the aroma actually smells like a really nice, juicy IPA. I'm not really getting any of the, uh, I guess that's a, another thing now that I thought about it. It's weird that a lot of these milkshake IPAs also have vanilla in them, which makes them taste more like a milkshake. This one just says lactose, so maybe it doesn't have vanilla. I don't taste vanilla in it either. Um, that's what made me think of that. But it's very, um, like... Passion fruit, uh, peach, and slight pineapple is what I'm getting mostly out of it. And there's a very small, like, uh, herbaceous dank character to it as well. So these guys did a really good job of, in my opinion, of incorporating fruit but not making it the predominant flavor. I mean, if you told me that this was just like a crazy, hazy, big double IPA with lactose but no fruit in it, I would probably believe it. I mean, the mouthfeel, you can tell that there's lactose in it, in my opinion, but I feel like the... The juice character, it is really juicy, but to me it's not enough for me to definitely know that there's juice in it, or fruit in it, um, because I've had IPAs that didn't have fruit in it that were this juicy. But I think there's something mid-palate. And it's the same thing that I got from um, that high, the High Branch beer that I reviewed recently. Uh, I said, <laughs> and I said to myself, "Self, I think is what it's called." Is like up front, it's all hops, but then mid palate, there's like a little bit of this um, acidity that would not normally be in an IPA that. Is coming, I think, from the fruit itself, and then that's really what is the deciphering factor. Excuse me, to know that it's there's something else in this, um, but it is pretty minimal. I will say that much. And overall, it just tastes like a really good double IPA, in my opinion. It almost had like I think what's really great about this too is it is really juicy, but it's also fairly bitter. Um, not like back of the tongue burn bitter or not like too, um, not just like too strong of alpha acid bitter. It's just like a little bit of like that orange rind bitterness, but it's not enough to like burn your tongue. It's just enough to balance out the flavor, which I think is nice. 
I will say, I mean, I what I get out of this is more of a tropical character, which I'm assuming is coming from the mangoes. Also, I'm wondering if a little bit of that Earthy Dan character might also be from the mangoes and not from the hops. The only reason I say that is, like, underripe mangoes, to me, have a very piney taste that I, to me, I could pick up, or I would, wouldn't be surprised if that's what I was picking up as, like, the piney hops. Um, I'm curious if it says, well, that's kind of disappointing. I was just hoping it would say what, uh, what kind of hops are in this, it doesn't, um, not that it matters that much, but I, I'd just be curious if there was any type of hops that I would generally assume would have, would put off those flavors, and it wasn't just from the, um, the mango itself, but, either way, this is, this is really nice, uh, I, but I think because there's not vanilla in it is what's making it still really good. I think vanilla just makes it go, it's too much on the wheat, on like the artificial quit adding crap into this side. Um, but I, I would definitely buy this. I, I, you know, I say buy, drink, dump generally and it makes me, when I usually consider it as a, would I buy this again, but I didn't buy this. Uh, so this is part of like a Secret Santa beer forward type thing. So I actually have a lot of uh, Ohio stuff to review. I just did a hoof hearted uh can recently I have some other who farted some other stuff from these guys um, something from Little Fish so Jackie O's Great Lakes whatever uh, anyways um, I would definitely buy this though if I could and I'm gonna I have a friend who lives in Cleveland I'm gonna tell him to look out for this if they make it again because I, I think it's really really nice um, so this is for me this is definitely a buy uh, it's not necessarily something that I would want to drink all the time because it is still a pretty big beer at 8.5%. And it's just like, I, I feel like this would wear on me. It's really tasty, but it's just not, it's not one of those super clean, easy drinking IPAs. There's just so much flavor and so much going on that I, I don't know that I would want to drink a ton of it all the time. But I would definitely go back and buy this again if they did it. So, yeah, that's all I got in this guy. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think, and I look forward to doing the next one. Thanks.